Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Please subscribe and turn on notification for daily Manchester United news updates. Manchester United make a formal offer to Southampton for Jason Wilcox as they look to X-Man City Man to mastermind their summer transfer revamp. But Saints are holding out for more money. Manchester United have made a formal offer to meet Jason Wilcox's buyout clause at Southampton in an attempt to ensure the director of football will be in place to mastermind this summer's transfer window at Old Trafford. Mail Sport has learned that United have agreed to pay Southampton 12 months of Wilcox's wages as compensation, but the championship club are understood to be holding out for a bigger package, and a deal has yet to be agreed. Wilcox has kept a low profile at Southampton since news of United's interest first emerged in February, but he has not been placed on formal gardening leave. The 52-year-old only joined the club last summer after spending 11 years working at Manchester City in various junior squads, with his last six years spent as academy director overseeing the development of stars such as Phil Foden, Rico Lewis, Oscar Bob, and Cole Palmer. United's pursuit of Wilcox is in danger of becoming their second acrimonious attempt to add to their recruitment team this summer, with Newcastle refusing to drop their demands for $20 million in compensation to secure the release of Dan Ashworth. Southampton are understood to be unhappy at the timing of United's approach, given the club are battling to secure promotion to the Premier League with eight games left. United feel they have acted professionally and respectfully in going through the formal channels to speak to Southampton about Wilcox, holding several weeks of talks before making a formal offer. The club viewed Wilcox as a key appointment who would work alongside Ashworth in the new recruitment structure being assembled by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford. Given Newcastle's position, United have given up hope of securing Ashworth before the summer, so have made recruiting Wilcox their priority. Meanwhile, Gary Neville believes Manchester United will struggle to finish in the top four this season and believes they don't deserve to off the back of their poor performance against Brentford. Eric Ten Hag's side were outplayed for much of Saturday's 1-1 draw in West London after facing 34 shots against a team who are winless since February. Results elsewhere also went against the Red Devils, with Tottenham and Aston Villa both winning, leaving United 8 points off 5th and 11 off 4th. And Man United legend Neville did not hold back in his assessment of their performance against the Bees. Despite 5th likely to be enough for Champions League football, he believes they will struggle to reach that position this season. Aston Villa and Tottenham will drop points. But if you look at United's level of performance, you just think that not only will they struggle to get into that fifth or fourth spot, they don't deserve to at this moment in time with what we are seeing, he told Sky Sports. It's actually really difficult to play that badly. Usually, whatever team you play against, even if you are a top team, the other team will have five or ten minutes of play or a period of domination. I can't remember any point in the game where Man Ut did anything well at all. It was a horrible performance. United are next in action on Thursday evening away at Chelsea. Ten Hag's team then host current Premier League leaders and bitter rivals Liverpool at Old Trafford on Sunday, again and again. Hannibal Majbri set for Manchester United return after being dropped from Sevilla squad, Man United midfielder. Hannibal Majbri signed for Sevilla on loan in January, but his loan move to Spain hasn't gone as hoped. Hannibal Majbri was left out of Sevilla's matchday squad against Getafe at the weekend, and the youngster is expected to return to Manchester United this summer. There was interest from Everton in Hannibal in the January transfer window, but the player chose to join Sevilla and signed on loan for the remainder of the season. The option for the Spaniards to sign him permanently for $17 million was included in the deal, and United inserted a buyback clause to prepare for the scenario of it being triggered. However, Hannibal has played under 90 minutes in four appearances for Sevilla and was left out of their squad on Saturday afternoon, which points to a return to Manchester. The youngster's loan has not gone as hoped, and it got off to a bizarre start when Sevilla announced he wouldn't be considered for selection just over a week after his arrival. After being with him, talking to him, and having seen his first minutes in Girona, 
we are going to give him the necessary space to understand where he is, that he is at Sevilla, and what it means, manager Quique Sanchez Flores said. He has to know where he is, and we want to see him. We have spoken with him, and we believe that he has to have some time to learn. We wanted to give him space, time for him to see things from the outside, and then he will return to the squad. After those comments, Sevilla made a U-turn and included Hannibal in their squad to take on Osasuna. But his involvement has been limited in the weeks since. Although there were reports in the Spanish press of a bust-up involving Hannibal and a teammate, Sevilla's president played it down and described him as a magnificent professional. Hannibal spent last season on loan with Birmingham in the championship and staff at St. Andrews spoke effusively about his personality and character. United sources have previously described Hannibal as always positive around the place, and he's known to stay late to do extra work in the gym most days. Something drastic would have to change for Sevilla to sign Hannibal permanently, and he looks set to return to United this summer before a decision on his future is taken. Sources described wide interest in both loan and permanent transfers for Hannibal last summer, but the decision was taken to keep him around Eric Ten Hag's squad. Hannibal has made 13 appearances for United and he's contracted until the summer of 2025, again and again. Manchester United goalkeeper Andre Onana was disappointed by Saturday's 1-1 draw with Brentford in the Premier League. Eric Ten Hag's Reds looked like they had done enough to secure a vital three points when Mason Mount scored his first United goal in the 96th minute. Onana had also made a number of saves throughout the game, but Christopher Ager squeezed in an equalizer for Brentford in the dying moments. I feel sad because we are Manchester United, so it doesn't matter who you play. Everywhere we go, we have to win, our number 24 reflected when speaking to club media after the match. We gave away this game in the end. We did a fantastic job defending. It was not our best game, but the most important thing was to win. So, yeah, it's difficult. For Onana, the quality of his individual performance was little consolation, given that the team didn't have three points to bring home from West London. The most important thing is the victory of the team, he said. It's good when you contribute and you have a victory. Of course, we didn't lose this game, but the way we conceded that goal is bad for all of us because we are in this together. We blocked shots and made saves together. It's difficult. As a leader and experienced player, we have to take responsibility and always stay positive because it's the biggest club in the country. We have to continue working hard, be humble, and I know we will stick together because we did it in the last month. I hope we end in the top four. Even though Andre didn't want to focus on himself, his display earned praise from MUTV pundit and United legend Gary Pallister, who applauded the goalkeeper's growth this season. It was good goalkeeping from Onana. He made some good saves, said the former Reds defender. He had a difficult start to his career. The focus and spotlight was on Onana. But over the past few months, he's got stronger and stronger, He's pulling off some important saves. He silenced quite a few critics over the past few months and he was man of the match tonight.